A Virginia woman is re in recovery right now from a revolutionary stem cell surgery tonight, and it's a surgery that she hopes will help her walk again. Michelle Farrar traveled to South Korea to become only the seventh person in the entire world to have this procedure done. And our medical reporter, Kathy Fowler, was with her and has this report from Seoul. Yeah. Minutes before the surgery that may make medical history, Michelle Farrar from Leesburg, Virginia is comforted by her sister's song and the prayers of her South Korean surgeon, who with just one injection could quiet the controversy surrounding stem cells and give hope to spinal cord patients everywhere. It's unreal. It really is. I, I only dreamed about this. And to know that I'm here is so unbelievable. <laughs> Today, Michelle is becoming the only American to have this stem cell transplant. And this is the first time in the world this experimental procedure will be televised. There's a great deal of tension in the room. South Korean doctors want American doctors and the world to know about their progress. But these are Michelle's these are stem cells? Yes. These are the stem cells harvested from the umbilical cord blood of newborns in Asia that will be surgically implanted into Michelle's spinal cord. These are the very doctors who reported success getting a Korean woman paralyzed for 20 years to walk again. Today they're using stem cells from two umbilical cords to better the chance of success for Michelle. Before the surgery, Michelle Farrar said she's excited about her role as a trailblazer. It should be going on in the United States. It should be going on in every country. I mean, why can't the United States work with Korea with what they've already had? Because it's been so successful already. Why are they not doing it? Most American doctors haven't considered umbilical cord blood stem cells as the best option to explore for spinal cord injuries. But if Michelle's surgery is successful, that could change. This is a hope. It's hope for everybody. It's a new hope. Nobody had hope. They never cared for all of this. South Korean doctors say Michelle's surgery went just as planned, but they won't know for weeks or months if it was really a success. As for Michelle, she returns to the States on Christmas Day. The only present she wants this year is to be able to wiggle her toes. Reporting from Seoul, South Korea, Kathy Fowler, ABC 7 News. A woman says she can move her feet for the first time since being paralyzed after a car accident. This is really a remarkable story. Michelle Ferrara's reported progress comes just nine days after she had a stem cell transplant in South Korea. Medical reporter Kathy Fowler has been following the story and joins us with the latest on Michelle's condition. Yeah, it's a little hard to believe. I talked to Michelle on the phone early this morning. She says she can move her feet from a pointed position to a flex position. It's a simple move most people take for granted. But for someone paralyzed, from the chest down, it's a milestone. And she, she said that she moved, I moved my toes, mother, I moved my toes. She was so excited. Nan Parker always had serious concerns about her daughter traveling halfway around the world to South Korea for a stem cell transplant that isn't offered here in the United States. But her skepticism shifted to sheer awe last night when Michelle Farrar called her mother and her nephew with some very good news. She was just laying there and they asked her to do it and she didn't even recognize that she was doing it, but she could do it on demand. She was wiggling her toes. and. Everybody went crazy, went nuts. And I was like, oh dear God, you know, it's, That's just, it's like just an answer awesome. right there. It's, I mean, this is the beginning of her walking. Since her car accident two years ago, Michelle's been told by numerous doctors she'd never walk again. Dr. Robert Lyles has been treating Michelle for over a year. No, we never expected her to move her lower extremities at all. But nine days ago, South Korean doctors transplanted 10 to 20 million stem cells from two different umbilical cords directly at the site of Michelle's spinal cord injury. And already, there's been progress. I think this is one of the most exciting events that I've had in my career. Oh, God, this is the best Christmas present that we all can have. Now, this is good news, but it's not enough for Michelle to report any progress. That's why all day today, Michelle underwent a series of tests so South Korean doctors could scientifically document and prove any neurological improvements. Michelle returns home to the United States on Christmas Day. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. And I know a lot of people are watching this. Yeah. You know, to see if, if it's something we should be doing in this country. Yep. Thanks so much, Kathy. Mm -hmm.